Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for August the 24th, read by Kirsty S. from the East Midlands in the United Kingdom. AA Thoughts for the Day Jittery We believe and hope this book contains all you will need to begin. We know what you are thinking. You are saying to yourself, I'm jittery and alone. I couldn't do that. But you can. You forget that you have just now tapped a source of power much greater than yourself. To duplicate with such backing, what we have accomplished is only a matter of willingness, patience and labour. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 163. Thought to Consider It's kind of fun to do the impossible. Acronyms. Let go. Leave everything to God, okay? Just for today. HP. From The Three Legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. We were still arguing about the 12 steps. All this time I had refused to budge on these steps. I would not change a word of the original draft, in which I had consistently used the word God and in one place the expression, on our knees, was used. Praying to God on one's knees was still a big affront to Henry. He was positive we would scare off alcoholics by the thousands when they read those twelve steps. Though at first I would have none of it, we finally began to talk about the possibility of compromise. Who first suggested the actual words well known throughout the length and breadth of AA today? In step two, we decided to describe God as a power greater than ourselves. In step 3 and 11, we inserted the words God as we understood him. From step 7, we deleted the expression, on our knees. And as a lead-in sentence to all the steps, we wrote these words, here are the steps we took, which are suggested as a programme of recovery. AA's 12 steps were to be suggestions only. Alcoholics Anonymous comes of age, pages 166 to 167. Daily Reflections A riddle that works. It may be possible to find explanations of spiritual experiences such as ours, but I have often tried to explain my own and have succeeded only in giving the story of it. I know the feeling it gave me and the results it has brought, but I realise I may never fully understand its deeper why and how. As Bill sees it, page 313. I had a profound spiritual experience during an open AA meeting which led me to blurt out, I'm an alcoholic. I have not had a drink since that day. I can tell you the words I heard just prior to my admission and how those words affected me, but as to why it happened, I do not know. I believe a power greater than myself chose me to recover, yet I do not know why. I try not to worry or wonder about what I do not yet know. Instead, I trust that if I continue to work the steps, practice the AA principles in my life and share my story, I will be guided lovingly toward a deeper and mature spirituality in which more will be revealed to me. For the time being, it is a gift for me to trust God, work the steps and help others. As Bill sees it, perfection, only the objective. There can be no absolute humility for us humans. At best, we can merely glimpse the meaning and splendour of such a perfect ideal. Only God himself can manifest in the absolute. We human beings must needs live and grow in the domain of the relative, so we seek progress in humility for today. Few of us can quickly or easily become ready even to look at spiritual and moral perfection. We want to settle for only as much development as may get us by in life according, of course, to our various and sundry ideas of what will get us by. Mistakenly, we strive for a self-determined objective, rather than for the perfect objective, which is of God. 12 and 12, page 68. Big Book Quote If we are sorry for what we have done, and of the honest desire to let God take us to better things, we believe we will be forgiven, and will have learned our lesson. If we are not sorry, and our conduct continues to harm others, we are quite sure to drink. We are not theorising. These are facts out of our experience. How it works, 
page 70. 24 hours a day. AA thought of the day. When we saw our faults, we listed them. We placed them before us in black and white. We admitted our wrongs honestly and we were willing to set these matters straight. We reviewed our fears thoroughly. We asked God to remove our fears and we commenced to outgrow fear. Many of us needed an overhauling in regard to sex. We came to believe that sex powers were God-given and therefore good if used properly. Sex is never to be used lightly or selfishly, nor is it to be despised or loathed. If sex is troublesome, we throw ourselves the harder into helping others and so take our minds off ourselves. Am I facing my sex problems in the proper way? Meditation for the day. Cling to the belief that all things are possible with God. If this belief is truly accepted, it is the ladder upon which a human soul can climb from the lowest pit of despair to the sublime heights of peace of mind. It is possible for God to change your way of living. When you see the change in another person through the grace of God, you cannot doubt that all things are possible in the lives of people through the strength that comes from faith in him who rules us all. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may live expectantly. I pray that I may believe deeply that all things are possible with God. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. My name is Kirsty, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.